Yo, what's good guys, Shoto Giraffe. Welcome back to another PSA return video. As you see about these two boxes in this bubble wrap and you guys are gonna notice that I'm wearing the same outfit and maybe some other PSA returns as well because this isn't a full, I guess, PSA return. This is one half of one and I received another half of another. So you might see me kind of jumping around, but then with all that said, let's get into it. All right, so I split them into two piles of 15, and I don't think PSA reorders them. I think they just kind of throw it in randomly. So let's just start with the left pile and then go with the right. Beneath, we're going to have piles um, respectively. So 10, 9, 8, and then everything below is 7 will just be its own pile. So starting with the first one, let's see what it is. Okay, we have a Manaphy EX from Breakpoint. This is a full art. I love these textured full arts from the XY era. Some of these XY cards, especially the texturing, like the edges kind of like, I guess the texture kind of bleeds over. So I don't know if that'll be considered damage, but then let's see. Okay, so near mint eight. So that's kind of what I was expecting with a lot of these full arts. So hopefully that's not a common theme because that was kind of like the bulk of this mission, but yeah, let's put the H right there. Next one we have, okay, so this one was from the super premium collection box like the very first of its kind with like the mew and mew 2 promo i did submit the mew and i got a nine and then we had this one can it get a nine as well no it got an eight okay so i really think they consider like that like texture to kind of overlap over the edge as damage but i don't know i guess another eight is this submission just gonna be all eights okay so next one we do have the charizard ex from the red blue collection this is a resub, this one actually, and it did get an 8. And the PSA is consistent, it will remain an 8. Okay, so yes it did. It does feature the Charizard, Magmar, and the Flareon. My girlfriend's a little sad about this card because the text covers the Flareon's face. I believe the Japanese one doesn't, but another 8 to add to the pile. Okay, alright, so we have a Deoxys, this one right here. And this one, unfortunately, I did get spoiled on because when I was checking the order, um, I guess on the website, it was like the first thing on like the bottom uh, of the screen. So this one, unfortunately, is an 8. And it also is a resub. And yeah, I guess PSA is consistent. Next up, okay, so we have this Plasma Storm Blastoise. This is a secret rare. I remember buying this for like $40, like pre-pandemic, I think. And this is a resub as well. And okay. Another eight. So far we have five eights in a row, so that's not good news. But this is a Japanese new back. Okay, so the CP6 cards, and this is a nine tails break. I'm expecting either nines or tens because Japanese card stock is just pristine, but Alright, let's go. So Gem Min 10 for the Nine Tails Break. CP6 was such a goaded set. Huge homage to the original base set, and then I guess in Japanese it was called the expansion set, but then yeah, I feel like the Japanese, um, I guess, version, I guess, did a truer reprint of it. It's like basically almost like a carbon copy. And this one, like I said, Japanese cardstock, 9s and 10s will be good. And we have a Polyrath 9, unfortunately. Because I feel like Polyrath isn't really one of the popular hollows from the set. We do have this uh, Leaf Energy. This was from the McDonald's promo or McDonald's pack where it has like the Pikachu, Charmander, Squirtle and unfortunately Chikorita compared to Bulbasaur but then this was from that Chikorita pack and we have a 10 all right so we have a PSA 10 and we have the Chikorita itself there it is and we do have a little swirl right by its butt right there but 9 or 10 I'll be happy with a 9 if it's a 9 it will go into personal but then if it's a 10 probably sell it okay all right a 9 Man, I wonder why it's a 9, but then I guess we take we take those and next one. Okay, so best of XY, Reverse Hollow, Trevenant. Reverse Hollows in general are just really hard to create, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's an 8, but I'm hoping for a 9. Oh, we got a 10. All right, all right. So this is a very clean copy of a Trevenant Reverse. Love the, people call it the Snowflake Hollow, but then yeah, I really like that Hollow pattern be done for the XY um, best of XY reverses and okay so the hex maniac unfortunately this isn't the full art if it was a full art then I probably would have got upcharged but then this one I had this for a while so I wouldn't be surprised if it's an eight. Oh, okay so we take a nine we take those nines are great because this was literally sitting in a cardboard box no sleeve no nothing and I think it sat like that for like at least two years and to get a nine that is Perfect. And we have a Zygarde EX, again from the Best of XY set. 
And can we get a 10? Okay, we get a 10. All right, so I did open this up on my birthday stream. You guys can go check it out on the past live streams, but then I opened a single best of XY pack and we did pull this. So very happy that's got a 10. And what else we got? More CP6 or maybe best of XY. Okay, so we have a Manectric EX. This one, along with the Hex Maniac, I've held for a while, so I wouldn't be surprised, again, if it got a 9 or even an 8. And we get a 10! Okay, I think that kind of goes to show, like, the quality of Japanese cardstock. Can't really say that now because, like, those ARs and the newer sets, the QC is just terrible, but then the older XY, Sun to Moon, even the Sword and Shield sets, I think the QC was great, so very happy with a 10. Okay. And I think the remaining uh, Japanese cards are going to be um, probably CP6, but we have a Lugia, just non-hollow. I'll be happy with a 9, let's see. And we get a 10. Let's go. Alright, this one was sitting along with some other cards as well, so 10s are, I mean, obviously the best, but yeah, I'll take those. Okay, so I do have two of these in this submission, so this is one. And this was from the little tin, and these are relatively good because they did change the way that they, I guess, held the promos. And we get a 10. All right, this artwork is so good. Mewtwo and Mew by Sui. Such underrated artwork. Would love to get the Japanese version. And moving on to the second pile. So we have the Blastoise EX, which features the Gyarados and the Vaporeon. And this one, again, is from like the Red and Blue box collection. And let's see this one. Why is this getting a four? There has to be an indent somewhere. I am not seeing anything. And this was actually a resub because it did get a four. But then for the life of me, I could not find what the, I guess the error or even the indent. So I don't know, that is quite a shame. So the first one to go in the seven or below pile, we'll come back to that. But anyways, okay. Alakazam EX. I believe some of these um, full art EXs are cracked from CGC, sorry, CGC cases. So this one features Alakazam, obviously, the Umbreon, and the Lugia. And I feel like this might get an eight based on the common theme of these textured hollows. Wait, what? Wait, I am, I really need to look at these because I feel like some of these don't deserve an eight. I mean, I'll take a 10 though, 10 is great. Holy, that is clean, okay, we take those. That was very unexpected. I was expecting like 9s or below. And we have another one. I'm assuming it's a 10. Please? Let's go. Yeah, so I think the way that they held these promos in these newer tins, they did a really good job in terms of like, I guess, not indenting the edges like the previous boxes did. And we have this one. We have a Aegislash EX Full Art from Best of XY. This one was actually sitting for a while. In the sleeve though, so maybe it can get a 10? All right, okay, so I think the reason I'm so surprised of all these 10s is because I didn't get upcharged a single bit. So maybe PSA is just trying to fire through all the submissions, but then, yeah, no upcharges at all so far. We have a Machamp Hollow, the classic Machamp that we all know and grew up with. And this is from CP6. And we get a 9, okay, so can't complain with a 9. Was hoping for at least a few 10s from the CP6, but I mean, I think these best of X Y definitely makes up for it. Okay. This one, this one I found at a local card shop and I honestly have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna assume an eight, but if it's a nine, that's great. 10 is just crazy, which I doubt, but I'm hoping for a nine. And... <laughs> we got a 10. <laughs> no way, no way. Okay, I kid you not, this was sitting in a cardboard box, unsleeved in like bulk section and I snagged it for like probably like 20 bucks or something but a 10? I mean the numbers right there it is what it is I won't complain but was not expecting that at all so I think overall we're doing pretty good for this mission you do have the Nitto King this time it is the psychic version compared to the grass from the original base set and this one got a 8 for some reason Probably, honestly, I have no idea why. Maybe edge wear something, scratches? I'm gonna have to look at this, but then either way, it's just a really clean card, so can't complain about that. Thankfully, our 10 pile is taller than the eight, and probably some more CP6. We got the lily pad Mew, and this one, please, a nine or better, please. And it got another eight, okay. 
I'm actually very confused of why the CP6 cards are getting an 8. Maybe it's the edges, I have no idea, but then, huh, that is quite interesting. And we have a Magneton, I guess we'll just follow the trend and say it's an 8. There we go, really have no idea why, okay. And the Raichu, can we say 8? I really need to look over these CP6 cards because it just makes no sense. And okay, Rayquaza GX, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, however you guys say it. And this one was from the Premium Hidden Fates collection, like the giant box with like the little figure, which I have off screen right there. This one, I'll be happy with a 9. 10 will be over the moon. And it is a 9, so can't complain. This is definitely going to go in the PC. I love Rayquaza. I think the shiny form, which is just like a blacked out Rayquaza, I think that looks so sick. And we have a Gyarados. Is this going to be an 8? Oh, a 9. Okay, so I guess we have few CP6 cards, but it's actually good condition. And, oh, okay, so Shaman EX, I love this artwork a lot. It features Shaman and also Mega Ray in the back. I'm gonna say 9. I wouldn't be surprised if it's an 8 because of the texture, but... Okay, it is an 8. I really need to look over this because I think this was a CGC 9.5 that I cracked out. And then I wanted to, I guess, upgrade it to a PSA 10. But I guess that didn't really work out. We have a Volcanion EX and 8. Nine, okay, so we take those nines. I know that this card, for some reason, is just really cheap. And for the final card, I guess for this half, we have a Gardevoir EX, and do we say eight? Oh, mint nine, okay, so I guess the graders aren't being too harsh, but then, so far, this is a spread of our grades. We have 11 tens, eight nines, 10 eights and our lone VG EX4. So this is gonna be the first half and I guess the future half once I get my other half of the submission. You'll see that like within a few seconds, but yeah. Day two. Welcome to part two of PSA return number six. This is gonna be all the tag teams I submitted in the other half. So let's get right into it. All right, so we have all 39 slabs right here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And my girlfriend actually did see the grades. She actually did like the whole grade reveal on like the PSA app. And she tried her best to kind of conceal her emotions. So I'm going to this completely blind as usual. So starting with the bird trio from uh, Tag All Stars. Okay, we have a nine. So I'm expecting majority nines and tens. I think anything below that, I think that was maybe a little bit of my mistake on my betting for, I guess in condition checking for these cards, but most of these are pack fresh. So not expecting anything below like nines and tens, but we have a Greninja Zoroark and we got a 10, very nice. Next up, we have a few duplicates. There are gonna be plenty of duplicates in here. We have the Alolan Raichu and the Raichu GX. And we got a 10, all right. And shameless plug, as always, all these will be on, or if not most of these will be on my eBay. So shameless plug, it is an affiliate link. So just wanna keep that transparent with you guys. And next up we have a Buzzwool and the Fermosa and the PSA 10, very nice. So yeah, I love these like tag team GX. I feel like it was all slept on up until recently. I feel like the alt arts obviously go for a little bit more. But I still think these regular GXs, I think just r and by Rita is just so good. So we have a Giratina and a Garchomp. And we got a 10. I feel like they may be, I don't know, I feel like just knowing me with like my submissions, I feel like they may be like one straggling like six or something. But we have another Alolan Raichu, uh, the Raichu pair. And we got a 10. Let's go. All right. So far looking good. We have the Alolan Executor with the Rowlet with a 10. Very nice. From Sky Legend. We have another Giratina Garchomp and a 10. Love to see it. Honestly, I feel like the new back Japanese are like bulletproof to some degree. We have a Charizard Breaks in GX and a 10. Very, very nice. Okay, next up we have a Venusaur Snivy from Remix Belt. A 9. Interesting, probably centering. Yeah, I think it's the left to right centering on the front. So a little unfortunate with that one. We have another Charizard breaks in and a nine. Okay, I see the centering issues. So I think that is something that I do need to look over a little bit better. We have a Erica from Dream League or more specifically Vileplume GX from Dream League. 
And we got a 10. Let's go. I love the art on the Dream Link set. Just all of them. They're so good. Next up, we have the Reshiram and the Zekrom with N just sitting on their shoulders. And this one is from Dream League. I feel like most of the Dream League cards I did pull myself. So I'm expecting nothing less than a 10. Very nice. Other than centering. And we do have another one. I think I submitted like four of these. Got another 10. Okay. And another one. 10. Can we go 4 for 4? Okay. Fourth one. Let's go. All of them got 10s. I love the art on this. I know this is like my girlfriend's favorite art from the set. So very, very nice. I did submit. How many did I submit? I think 6 or 7 of these. So I'm hoping for a majority of 10s. So Sogalea Lunala. 9. Okay. I think the centering from left to right definitely did it for that one. And another one. We have another 9. Okay, are they just kind of stamping a 9 on these? Hopefully there's a 10? Okay, there we go. So that definitely makes me feel a little bit better. I thought that all of these were going to be 9s. We have another Rob Plume GX. And we got a 10. Let's go. Alright, now we're moving on to the second half right here. And we have a Blastoise Piplup from Remix Bell. I believe I pulled this myself. And I got a 10. Very nice. Next up, we have another Solgaleo Lunala combo with a 10. Okay, so I think these might be the ones that I bought from Japan because I did buy like a lot from Japan, like a card lot from Japan, and it had a bunch of GXs, and I think I vetted them pretty well, but then, yeah. Uh, we have another one in a 10. Very, very nice. Okay, we have another one. How many was that? Like five? And a 9. Okay, so how many is that? We got three nines for the Solgaleo Lunala. So hopefully that is it for that one. And we have another one. Did I speak too soon? Okay, PSA 10. Very nice. And another Giratina Garchomp. This is from Tag All Stars. In a 10. It's kind of a shame that I feel like they... I kind of wish they did like the Gengar Mimikyu. The Latios, Latias. Tag Bolt, Tag Team in the Tag Team All Stars reprint. I think that would have been a nice touch, but then... Can't complain with these, so we do have a Greninja Zoroark in a 10. Alright, we're gonna blaze through this. This one we have a Reshizar GX in a 10. Very nice. Okay, we got a, another one in a 10. Okay, love to see any Zards in a 10. That's great to see. We have the Low Punny and the Jigglypuff in a 10. Alright, glad to see nothing uh, less than a 9. We have a Guzzlord and a Naganandale. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. In a 9. Okay. Next up we have another one. And this one's a 10. Okay, so we have one 9, one 10. And this one we have the Savali GX with the Gladion in the background. And this one's a 10. A few of these I pulled, I think majority of these. And maybe one, maybe from like a little lot that I bought. We have another one. And a 10. Okay, this pile is getting a little bit too high. Let's actually... Switch it up real quick. So, next card, we have another Sovali GX in a 10. And then the next one, we have the Bird Trio in a 10 as well. How many do we have? Three more. We have another Bird Trio, 10. And Garchomp Giratina, 10. And the last one, what do we got? We have a Mewtwo and Mew GX from Tag All Stars. All right, so honestly, that is a very good way to end it off. So out of these 39 slabs, 7 came back 9s, and 32 came back PSA 10. So I think overall, this second part was a great submission, and I actually do have a art appreciation lined up for us, which kind of goes along with our final card, which is a Mewtwo and Mew GX jumbo card. So this one was the movie promo, the Mewtwo Strikes Back, in 2016, I believe, or was it 2019? But, um... Yeah, this is a jumbo card that you get from like the little promo box. It comes with like three Remix Belt and three Miracle Twins packs. So yeah, this is a little jumbo card that you get. And I just love the art styling of this. Arita does such a good job on all these tag teams. He actually did like a little museum or like an exhibition in Japan. Wish I was there in Japan, but I do have a little flyer that um I guess they kind of handed out. But this is my little art appreciation that hopefully goes along with this second half of the submission. But yeah, that is it for the submission. I do have another submission, I guess as we speak, at PSA. I actually forgot to do a submission video, so I think I'm gonna do the submission and the return video together. So 
please be on the lookout for that. I believe that's going to be PSA submission return number 7. So that one's going to be a smaller 25 card sub. But I think it's going to be jam-packed with really nice cards. So yeah, please look forward to that. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.